Hey guys, Boom Chica here. Welcome to another session of my video series. I'm so grateful that you guys are taking the time to sit down and you know, out of all the precious moments that you could spend doing other things, that you're sitting down listening to what I have to say. I truly appreciate it. In this video, I wanted to speak to you guys about manifestation. It's one of my one of my favorite topics. I do like to talk a lot and there's a lot of things I like to speak about, but manifestation has been one of my favorite topics for the last year, year and a half. Um, one of the reasons it's come up over and over again is because I've become an individual who has become an expert manifester and it happened by accident. I wasn't actually looking to become that way. It just happened in, in a really, really awesome, amazing way. Like life, life, life is all right, always. But what I started doing a lot in the last year, year and a half is I started meditating really constantly, consistently, daily uh, on a regular basis. And what I would do is that as soon as I wake up in the morning and sit down, and I started with 15 minutes of meditation and I grew it to, to a total of an hour. And so I've been meditating for an hour every single morning and you know, trying to meditate before I go to sleep so that I have restful, uh, dream-filled sleep where I am you know, able to make connections and do all the different cool things that you can do in a dream world that you can't do in the real world. And so I've been doing that for the last few, few months and I've noticed that when I have a consistency in my meditation practice, I'm able to manifest the things that I'm looking for faster, better, easier. I give you an example, and I've given this example previously in other sessions where I was in the mood for you know barbecue. I want a barbecue, but my parents were too far away. I don't have a barbecue myself, and I'm trying not to eat as much meat, so I don't want to. I didn't want to buy it, and to you know to bring it into my house. So what I said to the universe was that I would love some free barbecue. I don't know where it's going to come from. I don't know how it's going to come. I was walking around downtown Toronto and I was like, I would love some free barbecue because I'm really craving it. So 10 minutes later, I kid you not, I'm walking past this free annual barbecue held by these local real estate ladies and uh, a man comes up to me and says, did you want some free barbecue? We've made too much and we, we don't want to throw it out. And obviously my answer was yes. Because you always say yes to the universe when the universe gives you what you ask for, right? Um, and I enjoyed it and I was grateful for it. Um, in the beginning, I used to get really, really surprised when these things used to happen to me because it would just baffle me. I'm like, I just asked for this. How did this happen? I mean, what's going on here? Uh, and now I'm still grateful and I'm surprised, but I'm not as surprised as I used to be because I expect it to happen. You know, I expect these things to happen. A few days ago, again, I asked, you know, a friend of mine is in, was in uh, traveling around the world and I was like, I really, really wish that she was back home just for a few days so I could have a conversation with her about something that I was dealing with. Uh, because I hate, I just like those, you know, Skype conversations where we're, we were doing. And a couple of days after I asked that, she messaged me on Facebook and says, I'm back in Brampton and I'd love to see you. How about Wednesday? Insanity, I know. It's absolutely baffling. But that's how life is when you are a meditator. When you're meditating, it's just that you're connected to this collective consciousness, connect, connected to the infinite source, you're connected to infinite intelligence, whatever you want to call it. Basically, you're able to live in the present moment, you're able to connect to that source, you're able to ask for things and make them manifest easier, faster and better just because you have that power in you, because you're just so connected to everything and you're just so present and mindful and you're just so in the moment that it just becomes such an easy thing to do. And so I totally recommend that if you guys are interested in becoming a manifester, if, if you're interested in bringing things into your life with ease and just asking for things and, and, and making them happen, and I totally recommend that you start meditating and making meditation a regular part of your practice. If you guys are interested, I do have a meditation course. It's at bloomshaka.com. If you guys are interested, go on and check it out. If not, then you know just keep on listening to my videos and I do give a lot of tips uh, in these videos about how to meditate, what, what to do, etc. So if you're interested, you know, go check out bloomshaka.com. If not, I'll talk to you guys in the next video series. My name is Bloomshaka. Ciao for now.